Very sad uh, news on, on Friday. Australian cricketer Shane Warne died from a suspected heart attack. Uh, he was just 52 years old. And his former fiancée, Elizabeth Hurley, has paid tribute to him, saying, I feel like the sun has gone behind a cloud forever. R.I.P. my beloved Lionheart. Um, and it can be very hard to know what to do when it's an ex who's passed away. Because, you know, they might have gone on to have another partner. It's mm. like, do you comment, don't you comment? Um, and something that you've had experience of, Linda, sadly. Yeah. Um, last year, Lauren's dad um, passed away in August of last year. And he was my first boyfriend. So we met when we were sort of 16, 17. And we were together for 11 years. And we had a beautiful daughter together. Um, and, uh, yeah, so when it came to the funeral, I thought, I don't know whether I should go or not. And Lauren said, no, I want you to come, Mum. I want you to be there. And uh, she was close to her dad? Really close. Mm. He'd been a really good dad. She saw him every Saturday and he'd go to her house every Tuesday night and they'd have dinner together. And his partner, his new partner, Jackie, as well. But I thought, I'm not sure whether I should go or not. But Lauren said, no, please come, Mum. So I went along, but I did feel awkward there. And no-one really made me feel awkward. It's just I felt awkward. Because, um, obviously, his partner was there with her children and then there was all Tony his friends and everything on one side and I just stayed for a couple of hours and then I went but I did go to say goodbye with um with Lauren to say goodbye to her dad so we went to his house and Jackie waited in the other room while me and Lauren went in to say goodbye to him but it was really sad and it was really hard as well you know like and I did feel awkward I really did but do you think if you didn't have Lauren you would have done that or... I probably wouldn't have gone to the funeral but because we'd sort of kept in touch yeah. over the years obviously and I'd seen him and at the wedding and that would me and me and Tony was on the top table and like our partners were on other tables and that but um, I'm glad I went and I'm glad I got to say goodbye to him as well I think it's sad though that um you know you you would feel awkward going because if it's somebody's funeral and you've been a part of their life for a big part what a yeah. big part yeah. of their life mm -hmm. then you know, I think it's more sad that anyone would be upset that you were there, you know, like a, like an ex-partner being But I don't there. think they was, but it was just how I felt. Yeah, really. but I don't think people should, and I don't think people should be made to feel that. I think you have to be very... If you're going to put something on social media or make a statement as an ex-partner, I think you have to be very careful what you write. Yeah. Because you have to respect, respect their new wife. Mm. You know, you can't say, well, you know, we were soulmates when he's married to someone else. Yeah, because yeah. Because that's... I would be annoyed. No, I, I, um, it's difficult, isn't it? Because, um, I, I don't know, I don't really have an ex that I would um, be too bothered about. <laughs> 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 Sorry, and that's the thing I know you that. Tell. You're all hearts, and this is I, 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 I know that sounds terrible, but I've never been that <laughs> really that close to anybody. Do you I know what I mean? If you don't have, if you had kids with an ex, you, you would. Yeah, of course, of course yeah. I would. Of course you would. Anybody would. Mm. But also, I've I've not really had, um, you know, I'm not not had bad falling. If you had a really bad falling out with someone that you were with, then you probably wouldn't care either. I think um, it does depend why. It depends but she was obviously... Be, Elizabeth Hurley was still fond of him, wasn't yeah. she, really? I mean, yeah. a lot of people were. So I think that's fine. But, you know, personally, for me, I, no, I probably wouldn't go to a funeral of an ex. But you hear yeah. about people who stop, you know, second partners going, I don't want his first wife yeah. or first husband at the funeral. I just think that's so selfish. I think it's selfish and I think it's sad. Yeah. You know, no, it's I'd just want childish, isn't it? It's yeah. just pathetic, yeah. really. Yeah. But, but, but you're anyone... still jealous exactly. or yeah. 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 I think it shows that's your insecurity, yeah, isn't it? it is, you go, massively. I can't have the first partner there. Yeah. And you think, well, why? Because that was a big, you know, they were in love once. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. Or well, maybe that's what they can't deal with. Maybe they can't can't deal with that, but it's very hard. But I think particularly, like you said, when you have children, it's that Lauren wanted you to go, yeah. you know, to, to her, you're her parents. Yeah, and, and her brother your... and sister were there and that, so we were there to support Lauren, really. You should always have respect for what went before you. Yes, yeah. exactly. Frankly. And not be threatened by it. No, exactly. You weren't around at the time. Yeah, quite right. lots of, um, we're looking online and lots of advice for things like this. It says no right or wrong way to grieve an ex-love. Many struggle with the feeling of not feeling worthy to grieve. Um, and then it says, you know, advice is share your feelings of loss with someone, even, you know, if, if you don't bottle it up. Helps to write a letter to that ex, maybe expressing any lingering feelings, saying goodbye. Um, and with any loss, you shouldn't try to fast track the grieving process, because actually, although you maybe not have been with them for a long time, it will stir up all those feelings yeah. when you were once happy together. So it's still a, a grieving process, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and also private grief. <clears throat> 
should be allowed. You shouldn't have yes. to do it publicly. No. Like everybody yeah. feels like now they have to do it publicly. Yeah. Well, yeah. our condolences to, to Shane Warne's family, um, his children in particular, and to, to Liz Hurley and her son Damien, obviously all very, very shocked by his sudden death.